Hello, Drive Intelligence community. Well, I'm going to do another video on my 10th Gen F-150 2002 model, but this applies to a lot of different vehicles and specifically trucks. And for those of you that put towing mirrors on your vehicle, as you can see here, these are aftermarket mirrors I got on Amazon. I've, I'll post up above the video where I put these on. I actually did three videos. The first set were, were really cheap, shoddy. This set turned out to be a little bit better. Anyway, I've never really liked these and um, because they're a little big, they could have been a, a different design. You know, the truck has more of a rounded aero design. The mirrors are not necessarily like that. Um, but the other problem I've got is that the, the actual glass, the mirror glass vibrates when I'm driving down a road and I don't like that. The, uh, the original mirrors were really solid. Well, I saw recently that um, somebody got six more miles per gallon on, the, on a Dodge truck when they took the integrated uh, tow mirrors and they folded it down. It has two positions, up like this and then folded down. The, the Dodge truck has that option, whereas obviously the Ford does not. These aftermarkets do not. So I went out and got me some mirrors off a 10th gen. It was a Lariat version, so... They're real nice. They've even got the integrated turn signal lamps. And I'm going to install these. Now, I've already done a fuel economy loop with these. And I'm about to change these mirrors out. And I'm going to do that same fuel economy loop, 72 miles per hour for about 50 miles. And I'm going to see if I got better fuel economy, similar to what they did with the Dodge truck. A couple things before moving on with this video. Please remember to give me a thumbs up. Please comment. Those are two great payment methods for YouTube creators, and I'd really appreciate it if you even just pause and click that thumbs up right now. Also, remember that I include a lot of additional information in the description section of my videos, which includes the parts and tools I've used, and it also includes additional videos that might help you with any kind of project that you're working on, and specific to the subject of this video. There are going to be a lot of videos that I reference for this video, as a matter of fact. Now, I've been working on fuel economy improvements for this truck for quite some time, 243,000 miles, so, runs solid, runs great, but there's always improvements to be made. All of those fuel economy improvements have been focused on mechanical improvements, which are bolt-ons or software, which is custom tunes. Now, I'm gonna sh like I said, I'm gonna share all those videos below, but the one thing I have not done yet is look at aerodynamics. Now, if you've looked at a lot of the modern vehicles now, you can see they have a really deep chin spoiler, uh, that air dam, it's getting really close to the ground. A buddy of mine has a 2018 Ford F-150. It's a two-wheel drive. And I cannot believe how low to the ground that front spoiler is. And what I've learned is that these manufacturers are using this as a tool to improve fuel economy. Well, what I want to do in, in my another video, and you need to stay tuned for that, is to put an air dam. I've, I've pulled an air dam off of a 99 Tahoe. I'm going to modify it, put it on this Ford F-150 4x4. It's about four and a half, five inches deep. And then I'm going to do another fuel economy test to see if that improves fuel economy as well. So stay tuned for that. And I'd really appreciate it if you comment below and let me know if you think that's going to work. Now let's get on with this video. To demonstrate the reason for possible additional fuel economy between the two mirrors, I've placed them side by side for comparison. To save time, I won't show the mirror removal process, but I will link the video in the description section showing the installation of these tow mirrors for your reference. It's an easy project. Now, when I superimpose the stock mirror over the towing mirror, you can see that the surface area of the towing mirrors is almost twice that of the stock mirror producing additional drag on the engine. Additionally, it appears that the stock mirrors are more aerodynamic, allowing them to glide through the air more efficiently. Now, let's look at the fuel economy results. First, the parameters of my fuel efficiency test. I used a 50-mile route between Greenville, South Carolina and Atlanta, Georgia on Highway 85. I used 93-octane fuel with a custom tune from 5-star and traveled with the cruise control set at 72 miles per hour with moderate hills during the loop. The tow mirrors delivered 17.9 miles per gallon and the stock mirrors delivered 18.7 miles per gallon, a 0.8 miles per gallon improvement. So how much savings does this translate to? The 10th generation F-150 has a 25 gallon fuel tank with the national average of premium fuel being $4.155 per gallon. I'm assuming the average annual miles per driver in the US is 15,000 and I'll also assume that 50% of those miles are highway. 7,500 highway miles per year at 18.7 miles per gallon will use 16 tanks of fuel 
and at 17.9 miles per gallon, we'll use 16.8 tanks of fuel, delivering a total annual cost savings of $83.10. Now, that may not sound like much, but consider the potential for gas prices to substantially increase once again, and with the current economy, every dollar counts. My results in no way match the video I saw where side view tow mirrors reduced fuel economy of a Dodge standard cab pickup by six miles per gallon. I think they should rerun their test. Let me know what you think in the comments section below and also let me know if you have other ideas to improve fuel economy. Stay tuned for that spoiler video and until next time, thanks for watching Driving Intelligence.